If you didn't save that, I hope you didn't screenshot because that might be weird, but my bath picture, <laughs> but I'm mostly talking about the recipe. Okay. The recipe, because I don't just choose things that smell good and put them in there. I choose oils and specific things in my baths, um, the things that I put in my water, herbs that I take for a specific reason. So as much as it was like, you know, baths feel good and like everybody's like, oh, an Epsom salt bath, bath for sore muscles. Epsom salt is really great to not only bring down inflammation, things like that, but if you're holding any energy that is not yours and you need to cleanse your, your auric field, your energetic field, salt is great for that. Um, I put some of the benefits of, I put lavender, um, frankincense, and I feel like one other, but I can't remember off the top of my head. And then rose, all of those have actually medicinal purposes. And the reason that I put those in the bath, I'm going to tell you because this thing's going to cut me off. So the past few weeks, I've been having some issues. I, I It's literally the whole chain of my backside. So I feel it um, a little bit. My Achilles, I can feel it where my hamstring and glute tie together, that tie in. Um, and then I'm feeling it. I actually feel like I need a... a, a um, chiropractic adjustment, I feel like my right pelvis is tilted forward. And so this front of my right hip was very, very tender just to stand on it, felt tender and sore. Like I had like overworked it, overstretched it, possibly pulled it, but it didn't feel pulled, but like the byproduct of it. Um, and so I, I'm like, okay, I need to like back off, I need to take care of myself. And I was like, okay, what can I do to be able to take care of myself that I know, right? Without going to the doctor, without all of these things, because your body naturally wants to heal itself. All that medicine or anything else is, is supporting the healing process. It does not do the healing. Your body does the healing. And let me tell you my hip day and night difference. So again, please go read why I chose those specific oils because frankincense is really great. It's there. It's has a lot of spiritual properties, but some of the properties of it, are, it's really great for inflammation. It's really great actually for anti-aging skin spots, wrinkles, things like that of that nature. So if I'm trying to heal something, what am I trying to do? Regenerate it. So I'm teaching all about this in the essential um essential oil medicine cabinet workshop that is happening at the Rachaka Yoga Festival. So this is a three-day festival. I've talked about it a lot on here, but it's a three-day festival, April 28th through the 30th. And this particular one is going to be on Saturday. So it's understanding how to use all the essential oils that you've probably bought sitting on your counter that you're not doing anything with, how to actually use those and why you use them for certain things. Um, and not only that, it really helps to educate you and inform you when you're making choices about your health to know that nature is there to support you. So if you haven't already, you can grab your